Capital Payments Integration. In order to set up the Capital Payments and TheraOffice integration, please log into your TheraOffice Administrator module. Next, click on Application Options, Integrations. Then, click on Capital Payments. From here, you will be able to enter in your account key, account ID, merchant PIN, and 3DES encryption number. At this point, you should have received a welcome email from Capital Payments. Within that welcome email, we'll obtain your account ID. Please place the account ID in the second field here. In order to obtain the additional information, you will need to log into your merchant account. In order to be directed to your merchant account, click on View Management Site. Once you are logged into your merchant account, on the left-hand side, under Frisk Management, choose Configure Options. Then, scroll down to API Controls. Click on Edit next to Merchant PIN in order to obtain the Merchant PIN. Click on Edit next to Account Number 3DES Encryption in order to receive the 3DES Encryption Number. And click on View next to the SOAP Reporting Service Account Key in order to obtain your account key. Once you have all the correct corresponding information, use this information to populate the fields within your administrator module. Then click OK. Next, we will run through how to collect a credit card payment from our scheduling module. As you can see, John Doe has an appointment today at 1 o'clock. I will right click on the appointment to check John Doe in. I will clear out the alerts that have populated for John Doe's visit. And as you can see, John owes a visit copay of $20. Also, our system is estimating that today's visit will cost approximately $280. In order to view our patient responsibility calculator, click on the ellipse next to this amount. The system is able to estimate from a standard evaluation visit, a standard follow-up visit, John Doe's most recent visit, or another visit. Right now, it is pulling from John Doe's most recent visit, which totaled the amount of $300. Based on the estimated charges, it's calculating that today's visit will cost $280. And from the check-in screen, you are able to collect on this visit up front. In order to apply the credit card payment, choose Apply a Payment. If the patient would like to pay with a credit card, click Pay with Credit Card. As you can see, the default credit card for John Doe is the Visa Signature Card. In order to display other payment profiles, choose the drop-down menu to view the other payment profiles that John Doe has on file. If you need to add, edit, or delete a payment profile, click on the ellipse next to the drop-down menu. From here, I can add a profile. I will give it a profile name, and if this is the new credit card that the patient would like to use moving forward, you are able to choose Default Profile. In order to obtain the credit card information, you will click on Swipe and swipe the credit card through the swiper. That will collect the credit card information. Next, fill out the billing information. If the billing information matches the patient information, please feel free to click Copy. Then click OK. If you need to edit a credit card or credit card information, choose that credit card and click Edit Profile. From here, I'm able to make modifications to the profile name. I can choose this as my default profile. And then also, I can update the credit card information. In order to do so, I can click on Edit, however, this will require an additional swipe. Once you are done making the appropriate changes, click OK. We are going to process this credit card transaction through the Visa Signature Card. The payment amount is going to be $300. 20 of which is applied to the copay, and 280 is what we are collecting for the visit up front. To print a receipt, choose Print a Receipt and click OK. This will process the credit card transaction, and next we will see a 
receipt that we can print out for the patient. In the upper left hand corner, click print to print the receipt. Now John Doe is checked in for his appointment. Also, within our scheduling module, you are able to obtain payment for patient supplies or equipment. In the upper left hand corner, in the scheduling icon, click on the icon and choose patient supplies slash equipment DME. If John Doe needed to purchase a cervical collar, I can choose the patient as John Doe. Next, next, you will choose the CPT code. The CPT code is displayed at the very bottom for cervical collar. Based on the CPT code, this will populate a total cost for that cervical collar. On the right hand side, you are able to apply the payment for the cervical collar right from here. Again, we can use that credit card that John has on file of the visa signature. And we can also even print another receipt. The credit card transaction is now processing. And here's the additional receipt you can now print for the patient. Next, we will log into the Thera Office accounting module to collect a credit card payment on a patient statement. Once you are logged into the Thera Office accounting module and have a patient statement out and would like to make a payment on that patient statement, please go up to Billing and Payments. Then click on Add Payment. The payer will be the patient. The payment type will be credit card. In this example, I'm going to collect a payment of $435 towards Jane Doe's statement. The payment date is going to be today. This is only going to apply to Jane Doe's account, so I will say applies only to patient and choose her account. Jane Doe also has credit card payment profiles on file, so if I choose pay with credit card, I can move forward to use the visa that she has on file. In order to process this transaction, click OK. The payment has been successfully added. You can apply the payment to the patient's statement as you normally would. Next, in order to reconcile the payments that have been made through Thera Office and the payments that are pulled up in your merchant account, under Billing, choose Credit Card Transactions. As you can see, there is a $765 difference between the credit card payments made in Thera Office and the net credit card activity that took place in the merchant account. Once these payments have been fully batched and sent out in your merchant account, these numbers will match and your difference should be zero. If you find there is an issue with your transaction report, please feel free to contact Hands-On Technology or Capital Payments.